guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rabia Hawa and this is where I introduce you to some of the weird and wonderful things I come across during my anti-poaching patrols, which is basically where me and a bunch of guys walk around in the African wilderness looking for signs of people who are trying to hurt animals. Anyway, in today's episode, I'm about to introduce you to something really fascinating. It's the elephant dung ball. But what does this have in common with this everyday object. Stick around to find out on this episode of Let's Get Wild. Now I know what you're thinking. Is she touching actual elephant dung? Like elephant poop? Yes, I am. And no, it's not dirty. Elephants digest less than 45% of what they eat, which means that this is basically just a bunch of undigested grasses, a couple of barks from trees and other shrubs and herbs. So it's actually very nutritious for other animals, but has human uses as well. For one, it's a really great mosquito repellent. So if you get a bunch of this and put it in your homestead or next to your tent, and you light it up safely, then the smoke actually repels mosquitoes, so it's very good. Yay! Some communities around here do use elephant dung to fertilize their crops. Another really great use of elephant dung is to produce paper. Now, if you have a look really closely, this is a booklet made from elephant dung. And these are some of the papers from inside the booklet. But you can notice a very huge difference between this one and this one. This one's been treated with bleach, so it appears a lot whiter than the other one. This one's a lot more raw and a lot more natural. You can even see the undigested fibers. And if you open it up, then you can really see the texture of the paper itself. So extremely useful for people, but more than us, it's extremely nutritious for animals as well. Which brings me back to the question, what does this have in common with the egg. A lot, in fact, because as you know, eggs have life from the inside out. And so do elephant dung balls, thanks to this little guy over here. <laughs> this is a dung beetle. And if you look really closely, you can see that that's the front part of his body. I don't have the rest of him, unfortunately. And you can see how sharp his legs are. His back legs are quite the same and they're very useful for rolling up little dung balls, like this one over here. And they keep on rolling and rolling and rolling until they get really big, like this one over here. What happens next is really exciting because dung beetles use dung balls to lay their eggs on the inside. And as you can hear and see, it's quite tough, which means it's great protection for baby beetles. And as soon as it dries up, the inside part remains moist. So when the baby beetle hatches, he's got lots of munchies. He basically just eats his way on the inside out. And when he's old enough to come out, pops out and begins a new life as an adult beetle, continuing the life cycle all over again. Some of them though, aren't quite so lucky. Did this one break out? Or was he broken in? Find out in the next episode of Let's Get Wild. And if you like this video, click on like, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you get notified and don't forget to tell your friends. See you on the next episode of Let's Get Wild. I'm Rabia Hawa. Take care.